All right, battle of the long slide. 10 millimeter versus nine millimeter Hornady critical duty. The nine millimeter is a 135 grain flex lock and the 10 millimeter is a 175 grain flex lock. And what I want to do is I want to run through full length pistol barrels. This happens to be a Glock conversion. A lot of people get give me a lot of comments on this if I get malfunctions, but this is not. A 10 millimeter is a 45. It is a Glock 41. It has everything done to it to convert it over the, to 10 millimeter, but because the barrel is a little bit questionable, the feed ramp's not very smooth. I get some jams sometimes. And over here for our nine millimeter, we have our MNP 2.05 inch barrel. So even though this is a 5.3 inch barrel and this is a five inch barrel, because the 10 millimeter cartridge is a, is a little bit longer, we actually have almost identical bullet travel in those guns. So pretty fair comparison to run these two in these guns here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the chronograph. We're gonna see what kind of velocity we get, what kind of accuracy I can get. And because this particular nine millimeter load is the FBI load, I'm gonna use close to their testing methods. And what I mean is I'm just gonna use 10% clear ballistics and four layers of heavy denim. Sometimes when I use denim on my bologna packs, it's just general denim. This is actually legit heavy denim that is for ballistic testing. So I'm going to use that and into our clear ballistics and see what kind of performance we get. And I'm also going to shoot from 25 yards. And I do a picture in picture. <laughs> I wouldn't feel like I would need to explain this, but a lot of people are yelling at me, telling me I'm stupid because I'm shooting from five feet. Well, no, I do picture in picture and <laughs> shooting from 25 yards. And the reason why I shoot from 25 yards, you know, as a concealed carry gun, what I'm looking to see is if I can hit this 10 inch steel gong at 25 yards because this is the size of a target that might not be covered in particular, you know, clothing that would stop bullets. Uh, and this may be your only target you can hit. And if you can hit this from 25 yards, and it's not like a bench rest where I'm gonna bench rest and see what kind of perfect accuracy I can get. It's, you know, just the average guy, me, if I were to shoot this ammo, how accurate is it gonna be out of an average pistol? So that's why I do that. So let's get started with this test. All right, I'm five yards from the target, four yards from the chronograph. First up, we have the nine millimeter. It's rated at 11, 15 feet per second. Typically, ammunition manufacturers use a four inch barrel for that reading, but when I shot through my four inch barrel, I got significantly less than 11, 15 feet per second. So maybe this five inch barrel will give us that 11, 15 feet per second. So let's see what we got. That 92. Ten ninety six. Ten eighty eight. Eleven oh two. Ten ninety two. So I don't know what barrel they're using to get eleven fifteen feet per second when I can't even get it out of a five inch barrel. So let's try the ten millimeter and see how that compares to this. All right, ten millimeter. It's rated at eleven fifty feet per second, but I don't know what barrel length they used to get that rating. So this is a pretty long barrel, 5.3 inch. So let's see if we get close to 1150. 1139. 1117 so definitely less than rated velocity as you can see my pistol is not enjoying that ammunition but let's hit our ballistics gel block and see how these two compare to each other i almost forgot to mention but one of my patreons dan supplied both boxes of ammo for this test so thanks again for that uh, but let's see what we get with the nine millimeter and our ballistics gel All right, so what we got here is pretty good damage moving along this path. And we stopped in the second block here. And sometimes the camera doesn't pick up, you know, the measurements correctly because it's kind of a stretched screen. But what we're looking at is we don't have any damage path beyond the, the nose of the bullet, but the nose of the bullet is at about 17 and three quarters inches. So 
12 to 18 they're cutting it close there uh but yeah <laughs> it's doing it that's pretty much perfect performance uh, at least by their standards uh so let's see how the 10 millimeter compares all right 10 millimeter auto let's see what this does All right, so there's a significant difference there. Obviously, our bullet is up here. It turned, you know, kind of turned backwards. It's kind of hard to see um, our damage, but let's take a look at this, if I can turn this block. And this is why I'm turning it. This matters. That is significant. That is a significant difference between that nine millimeter. Now that looks like tumbling to me, but because it's 175 grain, it still has a lot of momentum going on there. And this block is a little bit dirty, but you can definitely see right here, this is where our nine millimeter is, and this is where our uh, our 10 millimeter is. And again, at 20, 28, 28 and uh, three quarters about. And this looks like it has a little bit of expansion. This looks like it didn't expand at all. And that's why it went so deep. Interesting. Um, let's shoot from 25 yards. See what kind of practical accuracy we get. All right, 25 yards. I'm gonna use the 10 millimeter first. Uh, not enjoying this ammo. I don't think it's that great. So even if we get jams in this, obviously it's not the ammo's fault, but we're just gonna see what kind of accuracy we can get with this round anyway, because that's still gonna be valid out of, out of this pistol, even though it jams. So let's see what we got. Not really sure where it's hitting. I'm trying to hold right on it and try to try to see where it goes. I'm feeling a lot of jolt on that plate. All right, not too bad for accuracy anyways. Let's see how that nine millimeter compares. All right, nine millimeter. This is clearly the better round, even though the velocity is less than listed. My only guess is they're doing that because they're trying to make it more shootable for more people. So even though there's a potential maximum listed velocity, it's really not that because they're trying to bring that recoil down. So let's see what I get with the nine millimeter. So, what we could tell from this test is this is actually excellent ammunition. I tested it in the four inch barrel with the nine millimeter version. I tested it in the four inch barrel going through our fiber board. We got essentially the same performance that we got in our um, just straight gel. We're getting really, really good performance. It's really good ammo. It's a, it's a perfect nine millimeter load. And I have actually tested it in the past and my baloney packs going through the fiber board into water jugs. I think I tested that out of a 3.2 inch barrel and it did excellent out of that as well. So 3.2, four inch, five inch, excellent ammunition, low recoil, very good accuracy as we can see. And more important than just good accuracy, you know, on paper it wasn't that accurate, but our practical accuracy where it's kind of like you see a 3D, 3D images and you get a sense of whether you can hit that or not. It's kind of hard to explain, but you shooters know what I mean. This has a really good practical accuracy. And that 10 millimeter, that's actually pretty accurate. Um, and we can't say that the jams have anything to do with the ammo because they don't. But the ballistics gel block, which is FBI protocol, I believe, or at least it used to be, um, you know, we're getting over penetration. So 
And I believe that the real gel that's not synthetic actually is less dense than that. So we would probably pass through two, two gel blocks if it was regular, regular real gel. So not very impressive for that 10 millimeter, but this, you know, it's not every day I can hit the plate every time. So, and have good ballistic performance. I have a really good feeling about this nine millimeter ammo. Uh, it's probably gonna be the, my go-to to suggest to pretty much anybody considering all the barrel lengths. We, we tested it and it did excellent. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.